Salter osteotomy has been described by Ball, Herb Salter in Toronto. And what he does is the, he cut the acetabulum in, from in line with the uh, anterior inferior iliac spine to the sciatic nodes and rotate it downwards, forwards, and laterally. So the entire acetabulum along with the ischium and the pubis are rotated as a unit hinging on the pubic symphysis. So the hinge is the pubic symphysis. It redirects the acetabulum to give anterolateral coverage of the femoral head. Correct the acetabular dysplasia and it provides containment <coughs> in the case of Perthes disease. Indication in DDH in the age group 18 months to 6 years. And in lateral and anterior acetabular dysplasia, you are following neuromuscular disorders like cerebral palsy or in Perthes disease for containment. Should understand the examiner may ask you where is the hinge? The hinge is on the pubic symphysis. What are the prerequisites of uh, uh, Salter osteotomy? One, concentric reduction of the femoral head. If concentric reduction of the femoral head cannot be attained in a case of DDH, you will have to do open reduction of the hip to obtain concentric reduction. The age group, 18 to eight months to six years, it can be extended because up to about eight to 10 years, the, uh, the pubic symphysis may be flexible. There should be adequate movement of the femoral uh, of the hip around high, 100 degrees of flexion or 30 degrees of abduction. Contracture of the iliopsoas and adductor muscles must be released. So the line of osteotomy from the greater sciatic nose to the anterior, just above the anterior inferior iliac spine. So this is the line of osteotomy. The graft is taken from the iliac crest and it is made into a wedge. The distal fragment is shifted downwards, forwards and laterally to cover anteriorly and laterally. The 30 degree uh, wedge of bone, that is the graft that is taken, is placed into the open segment anteriorly and this redirects the acetabulum. And the fixation is by a couple of K-wires. Make sure that the K-wire does not enter the acetabulum. Contraindication, it should not be done when there is a non-concentric reduction. Or in severe cases, because the amount of coverage that is possible is very minimum. So in severe acetabular dysplasia, it cannot be done. Age over eight years of age, the, uh, the pubic symphysis may not be flexible. And if the hip is stiff, again, you should not do it. The complication, the most common complication is K-wire penetration, which you should avoid. Nerve injuries can occur, but it is very rare. Acetabular retroversion is one that is most talked about because uh, following uh, Salter, it produces acetabular retroversion, which is considered to be a cause of early osteoarthritis of the hip. There are several others who are supporting this uh, acetabular retroversion theory, and there are so many who are against this, but there is no convincing proof in the literature to show that uh, it leads to early osteoarthritis of the hip. Non-union and osteotomy is very rare, and increased joint pressure can occur when you do it for purposes. So theoretically, lateral femoral cutaneous now can be injured, the sciatic nerve can be crushed by the homans, which is put into the greater sciatic nerve, the obturator nerve during retraction, and the femoral neck again during retraction to the iliopsoas. Advantages, it is easy to master, does not change the volume of the acetabulum. The disadvantages are, it is unstable because the fixation is only by two k wires, and you need another surgery to remove the k wires, and the much talked about acetabular retroversion. So this is one case with the RDDH with acetabular dysplasia in a two-year-old child. You can see that open reduction and assault has been done. See how well the acetabulum have reformed.